Hello everyone, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the platform of Unacademy, India's largest learning platform. Yes, boys and girls, am I audible, visible to all of you? Yes, Akshay, hello everyone. Yes, Akshay, good afternoon. <clears throat> Am I audible? Visible? Clearly? Loudly? Okay. Yes. So there are many people who used to ask me why we have to join an academy. The reason is very simple. Here we are going to provide you daily live classes, live tests, quiz, structure courses and unlimited access with one subscription. Means you can attend the lectures of all the faculties with one subscription if you want to attend the lecture of any particular faculty of the same subject you can do that with that so that's why it is available only here yes i hope all of you downloaded the app those who haven't downloaded the app please download the unacademy learning app because all the classes that is special classes and plus classes available only on app Yes, let me introduce myself, those who are new here. My name is Harshwadhan Singh and on this platform, I'm going to teach you history, economics and international relation. Currently, my lecture series on modern India and Indian economy is going on. Please do watch the video. If you haven't watched it, it is available on our YouTube channel that is UPSC CSE English as well as it is available on app. Yes, I'm having nine year experience in the field of civil services as an educator at Delhi, Pune and Nakur. Those who want to connect with me, those who want to know the lecture timings and all can contact with me through Unacademy app at unacademy underscore harshweek10. This is my telegram channel or you can directly Ask the question or anything on an academy app at the rate Harsh was thing for you. Yes, these are our top educators. Please do watch the videos. It will be really helpful for you in your preparation. I hope all of you subscribe to an academy. Those who haven't taken subscription, please have subscription of an academy because your subscription is important for us. Without your subscription, Presenting such a video lectures is not possible for us. So please support us by subscribing an academy Here we are going to provide you two options plus as well as iconic in plus we are going to provide you the Subscription for a year at cost around 44,550 after using my code Harshwi 10 Yes, after using my code, you will get the 10% discount and you have to pay just 44,550. Along with that, you have to take the subscription of Iconic and I insist you, please have an Iconic subscription because here we are going to provide you all aspects of guidance including personal feedback, study planner and daily question and answer writing for me. It will cost around just 67,050. And after using my code Harsh V10. Yes, everyone. <clears throat> so these are the batches we are going to launch from 18th. Yes, from 18th, we are going to launch the batches for six month code as well as it is going to launch for one year NCRT batches and two year courses from 18th. I hope all of you, yes, everyone, I hope all of you attended the unacademic combat. It was there. In the morning and I insist you please attend the unacademic combat which is going to be on 28th of this month yes everyone so these are the combo offer we are going to provide you it will cost around 88,705 for GS iconic subscription and optional subscription it will cost around 70,103 for GS as well as optional plus subscription so according to your own convenience please take subscription of an academy 
Yes, these are my special classes and it is available only on app. Here we are going to discuss the other than topic like strategy, MCQs and how to write the answer for mains. Those who haven't watched it, just go and watch once. If you like it, then definitely you are going to join me. And please follow me on an academy app so that you will get the update of lectures on app. That is special classes. A quick recap of last lecture. In the last lecture, we have discussed the freedom and partition. Yes, everyone, that topic we have discussed. In that topic, I mentioned few important topics related to the INA. What is INA? Why it was there? Then we discussed about Royal Indian Navy mutiny. Then we have discussed another important topic that is interim government. Clear? These topic we have discussed in the yesterday's lecture along with that we have discussed the India Independence Act. India Independence Act. Clear? So we have discussed everything in the last lecture. Do you have any problem, any question, any doubt related to the last lecture? Yes everyone. Yes. Ashwini, Akshay, Neha, Panupriya. Good afternoon. Yes, there is. There are many people joined for this class. I'm, I'm really happy, and yes, I know the reason is very clear, and I'm happy that you all came here. <clears throat> it's okay. It happened. Life. Okay. Other than that, is there any question, any query related to the previous lecture? No. Good. Next. Rise of left and basically we are going to discuss important thing related to communist movement. Rise of left we generally used to discuss over the communist movement. Communism is an important aspect of Indian political system. But you know what? Communism is not or what we can say actually this was a foreign ideology yes it was there from Europe it transferred to India and now at present many Indian states are having communist ideology even they form the government as well and most very or most famous is right now Kerala along with that once upon time it was there in Bengal that is West Bengal along with that it was there in Tripura. So why this ideology is important? That is also important because we have to learn this thing. Because in politics alternatives should be there. The different ideologies are there. So as Indian national movement was a main stream of Indian politics at that time but at the same time communists also played an important role in Indian freedom struggle. Yes? Yes Nirish, good afternoon. <coughs> So today we are going to discuss how these communist organization form, what were the reason, what were the factors, significance of them we are going to discuss in this lecture. So the factors responsible for rise of left or rise of communism in India. So most important factor Bolshevik revolution in Russia. Yes, Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. It is also known as October November Revolution in Russia. How? Yes, everyone. The Bolshevik Revolution in Russia is important factor we have mentioned for rise of communism in India. But how? ये सब बेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन आया आज के बताइए कि कैसे लगता है आपको कि हाँ बोल्शेविक रिवॉल्यूशन है उसकी वजह से इवेंट हैपेंड इन रशिया हाउ दैट इवेंट 
particularly going to affect influence the India. Yes, boys and girls, how much time you require? How much time you require to answer very simple question? Yes, any guess? I am not expecting the right answer from you. I am expecting the guess from you. As I am the person who taught you Bolshevik revolution as well. So at least I am expecting that much from your side. And uh, one more thing, one more important thing I just want to tell you. That uh, if you don't know the answer, then mention it. You don't know. Because every time it is not necessary that I have to ask you, do you know? Am I right? ये कोई स्कूल कॉलेज नहीं है ना भाई साहब कि आपसे हम पूछे और आप टाइम पास करो और फिर बताओ पता नहीं है वी हैव वेरी लिमिटेड टाइम यस सो इफ यू नो इट से इट यू नो इफ यू डोंट नो इट से डायरेक्टली यू डोंट नो ओके यस व्हाट है रुद्रा सेड इंस्पायर्ड बाय सोशलिस्ट पीपल फील इफ टुगेदर फाइट अगेंस्ट द एक्सप्लोइटेटर then we get the freedom gadar party got inspiration from russian revolution ashwini are you sure i think gadar party was there during the first world war and as per my knowledge means the gadar party was there i think if i am not wrong it is there before bolshevik revolution and bolshevik revolution was feb October November 1917. Neha said introduced by M N Roy. Arey, kya madam maaf lolti. Yes, I ask you how Bolshevik Revolution in Russia is considered as a factors responsible for rise of left. It is very simple. Yes, as Akshay mentioned to the point. Yes, that's good, Akshay. It is there because Bolshevik Revolution is the people's movement, people's revolution. This people's revolution against Tsarist regime. This revolution ended the autocratic rule. This rule was there for centuries. A centuries old rule ended by them and along with that after ending this rule actually it is a symbol of oppressive repressive autocratic government and who ended that people movement when they joined hand they revolted and they ended the autocratic rule if they can why not us clear if they can why not us so this is a basically inspiring factor for us because the communism is against exploitation and britishers yes everyone britishers are symbol of exploitation yes everyone get it how russian revolution and bolshevik revolution inspired it yes and you know that ideas doesn't have border idea can transfer from one area to another area and idea doesn't have a patent remember one thing idea doesn't have patent it definitely transfer from one place to other place so russian revolution that is bolshevik revolution was successful in russia it ended the autocratic rule and this inspired us to follow it clear and that's why it is considered as a factor responsible for rise of communism in india next 
British colonial rule and economic exploitation of Indian economy. Wow. Yes, everyone, every point I am asking the question to you. On every point. It is not there to humiliate you. I am asking this question so that your ideas should be clear. There is no need to mugging up the things. If ideas are clear, then it is very simple for you. Clear? Yes, everyone. Is that clear? So now the question is for you. How British colonial rule and economic exploitation of Indian economy is considered as a factor responsible for rise of communism? Yes, Ashwini mentioned taxes on things of daily uses, salt tax, okay. Hmm. Think on rational line. Aisa nahi hai ki aap logo ko perfect jawab aana chahiye. Sir, thoda sa. Yani jaise Ashwini ne abhi istamal kiya na word, salt tax. Yani bas. कॉमन सेंस भी नमक की तरह चुटकी भर स्वादानुसार आपको इस्तेमाल करना है बस यदि जिंदगी में आप कॉमन सेंस नमक की तरह इस्तेमाल करोगे ना तो मैडम और भाई साहब आपकी जिंदगी बन जाएगी यस द सेम कंडीशन इन रशिया बिफोर रिवॉल्यूशन बाय जारिस रिजिम अरे बताओ भाई साहब Yes, boys and girls, it's very simple. British colonial rule, the most important thing, British colonial rule is a rule of exploitation, drain of wealth. Drain of wealth is an important aspect of colonial rule. Yes, so Mandal, deindustrialization, destruction of handicraft. Shabash, very good. Yes, exactly. The first point is trend of wealth and economic exploitation of Indian economy. How they did that? They destroyed Indian industries. They destroyed Indian industries that made people workless. Along with that. The next important aspect that is that is export of raw material and import of finished goods. So this practice ruin. The agriculture sector, commercialization of agriculture is one of the factors. Along with that, destruction of handicrafts industry, destruction of handloom industry in India because of their policy. Along with that, all the raw materials they sent to Britain. So all these policies basically symbolizing economic exploitation. And this economic exploitation is a representative example of capitalism capitalism works on profit and that's why indians communism indians incline towards communism and the most important aspect of communism is yes most important aspect of communism equality freedom and freedom from whom freedom from all the aspects including economic exploitation Yes, everyone? Is that clear? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, Akshay. Impact of World War I created financial instability in the region. Yes, because the prices of day-to-day -day products increased high. Heavy burden of taxation is there. Along with that, agriculture sector. As the commercialization of agriculture, we have mentioned this 
is an important factor of exploitation in the field of agriculture if you uh, don't have any idea then at least you have to go to Champaran Satyagraha where the one person uh, was known as Ajki Bhasha Me Hote To Unne Andolan Jeevi Kete Jinka Naam Ta Mahatma Gandhi He was the person who stood for the rights of farmers, indigo planters in Bihar so it was a best example of exploitation of agriculture sector through commercialization of it. So when Indian economy, Indian people were basically suffered because of colonial rule and that is important factor for inclination of intelligentsia towards the leftist ideology. Clear? Clear? Yes, everyone, is that <clears throat> so? Uh, a general observation is that I don't know it is right or wrong, but in general observation, those who are considered as a part of left, most of the time they are intellectual. Most of the time, I'm not saying it is a generalized statement, but it is most of the time it is there. Why it is so? Because after having lots of knowledge, their inclination towards the leftist ideology is there and it happened in India also India was not isolated case clear okay next the great economic depression of 1929 exposed the weaknesses of capitalist economy because this happened in America but it is having impact all over the world and because of that reason many people lost their job. It was a period of economic slowdown and that's why world suffered and India was a one of the part of it. India also suffered because of that. Along with that at the same time when world was suffering from economic crisis at that time, Russia registered positive growth rate. This recession doesn't have this recession doesn't have any impact over Russian economy, and that's why those who are not in favor of any ideology and all, but after watching Russia, their performance again they had uh, developed a soft corner towards Russia clear and India is also one of them our then Prime Minister the first Prime Minister he also influenced by the Russian socialist ideology when he visited Russia he found out that at the time he was not the Prime Minister at the time he was a member of Congress only so he was quite impressed by the Russian development within a short interval of time clear so it is one of the reason that when world was suffered at that time, Russia registered a positive growth rate and that made people to think on the other economic model and that is known as communism. Yes, is that clear? Is that clear to you, boys and girls? Neha asked me one important question. Why communists are called Comrades, I don't know. Uh, Bhagat Singh used to call people comrade. Yes, am I right? आप लोगों को शायद पता हो मूवी भी देखी होगी आपने बाकी इतिहास तो आप पढ़ोगे नहीं मूवी तो देखी होगी तो मूवी में भी आपने देखा होगा कि Bhagat Singh जो है अपने दोस्तों को साथियों को कहता था comrades. Yes, have you? Yes, because it is very simple thing that is in the communism actually Yes, 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 yes See Girls are so intelligent nowadays without giving me time to reply They replied yes, I'm really happy it's very simple means the comrade word is there but it is 
communist ideology though i don't know whether in practical it is there or not but in theoretical they believe in equality the equality among them male female and all there is no hierarchy in their position clear there is no hierarchy so if there is no hierarchy that means you all are equal so when you all are equal you are going to call yourself as as juniors seniors no then sathi jo aap hindi mein ye word istemal karte na sathiyo so this sathiyo comrade these are having the same state clear samajh gaye yes everyone and you know what at that time most of the people in the world highly influenced by the idea of communism it is just like you when you listen any speech of any topper and you are highly influenced by the ideology of that person and you started reading the hindu you started reading yojana you started reading indian express for 2 3 days and then you realize oh this is not cup of my tea it happened with many people there are many people who highly influenced by the idea of communism and that that time they considered that world's problem are going to solve with the ideology of communism but does it happen yes everyone does it happen as you and me are the witness of the historical event as russia ussr they propagated the ideology but you know what the european countries basically the eastern european countries are still backward they followed the communist ideology as well yes it happened because theoretically theoretically it is good idea but practically it's difficult to implement and those who implemented in a proper manner it's well and good those who haven't yes the problem is of implementation from the side okay next thing background outside india as i mentioned the russian revolution influenced the indians and their intellect means our intellectual intelligentsia inclined towards the communist ideology so this moment the communist movement began outside india in first phase so the beginning is visible outside india and very famous person of the yugantar revolutionary contacted bolshevik leaders this yugantar in bengal everybody knew about them main aisa kehta hu ki everybody knew to mujhe aisa lagta hai ki aap sab logo ko pata hai to hamara sawal aap se kya aap logo ko pata hai ki yugantar naam ki koi ek revolutionary yani krantikari sanghatna thi क्या आप लोगों को पता है ये भी तो पूछना जरूरी है ना हर बार थोड़ी ऐसे कह सकते कि नहीं ना आप लोगों को पता ही युगंतर नाम की एक क्रांतिकारी संगठना कहा थी बंगाल में it was there in bengal and one of the uh, important leader of that organization was narendra bhattacharya narendra bhattacharya and this narendra bhattacharya is popularly known as hmm yes it is that person that is narendra bhattacharya popularly known as ऐसे ही पूछा हमने बताइए यस एनी आइडिया ओ पी के आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम यू आर ऑल्सो देर ऑन द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे यू आर ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म आई एम रियली हैप्पी फॉर यू एज वेल क्या बात कर रहे हो हैं बीरेंद्र कुमार घोष आई एम आस्किंग अबाउट नरेंद्र भट्टाचार्य नरेंद्र भट्टाचार्य इज बेसिकली दिस पर्सन 
M. N. Roy, Manavendra Nath Roy. Yes, Manavendra Nath Roy founded the Communist Party of India at Tashkent in 1920. As this Ugandan leader contacted the Bolshevik leader and Narendra Bhattacharya, that is M. N. Roy. As you know, there is a fashion or not fashion, fashion is different word. But uh, there is a practice followed by these communist leader. They took some title, like uh, you know what in Nepal, it's really visible for you uh, when that one of their prime minister, recent prime minister was there, and name of that person was Prachand Oli and all. So such kind of name they use. So M. N. Roy, Manavendra Nath Roy. He changed the name and he founded the Communist Party of India at Tashkent in 1920. The other important leaders associated with is Muhammad Ali, Abni Mukherjee and Muhammad Shafiq. Muhammad Ali, Abni Mukherjee and Muhammad Shafiq. They all along with M. N. Roy, they established Communist Party of India at Tashkent and everybody knew that Tashkent uh, was a part of USSR at that time. In 1922, they shifted their headquarter. In 1922, shifted headquarter from Tashkent to Berlin. And from there, they published a newspaper that is journal known as Vanguard of Indian Independence. Vanguard of Indian Independence. What it means? Yes, everyone. What is the meaning of Vanguard? Yes, what is the meaning of Vanguard? I say, Pushli, you have to go to the English medium. Yes, so much is your life. Yes, what is the meaning Yes, I know there are many people who are from that background. So this question is for you. Vanguard of Indian Independence. Yes. Along with that, do you remember? The same word vanguard during rather moment. Nilesh said leading head. Vanguard is a leading head. Okay. Do you remember front action, front runner means uh, <clears throat> do you remember such type of name of any journal during Gadar moment? Yes, do you remember that? That is the interlinking of the subject. As you know this thing here, you know that thing there. But when the question comes in examination, it creates a jumbling. It creates a problem. Because you remember one word, vanguard. Vanguard you considered sometimes it is with gather moment. Sometimes you get confused with this moment. Clear? So make it sure, make it clear. This vanguard of Indian Indian independence related to communist movement, and it was established by M. N. Roy. Next, the background in India, how this movement started in India. 
in 1920s there were emergence of various regional communist organizations and publications like their pamphlets were there newspapers were there journals were there can you consider or can you compare the same thing with inc yes everyone kya aap ise bhartiya rashtriya congress jo hamari swadhinta sangram ki jo mukhya vichardhara thi kya aap usse koi sambandh laga sakte ho Yes, everyone. Do you remember? As we have mentioned the formation of Congress, we have mentioned their various organization form in Britain, in England. Then we mentioned in India, various regional organizations were there at Bombay, at Bengal, at Madras Presidency. Clear? so remember one thing it is the same thing with the communist party of india as well it was established outside india but when we considered in terms of india in 1920s various regional organization communist organization were formed and these organization had pamphlets newspaper journals they published that clear so we, first example of it in madras इन मद्रास किसान लेबर पार्टी किसान अफकोर्स पीजेंट लेबर पार्टी दिस पार्टी वॉज श्रृंगार वेलू चडिया श्रृंगार वेलू चडिया इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री नाउ लुक एट दिस थिंग इन मद्रास नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री किसान लेबर पार्टी in 1925 at sorry in bengal in 1925 in bengal which organization form labor swaraj party labor swaraj party clear who organized it the leaders like muzaffar Ahmed Muzaffar Ahmed Qazi Nurul Haq HK Sarkar etc these were the people associated with Bengal known as Labour Swaraj Party and they published the journals known as Langal and Ganbani Ganbani Langal and can so now if you closely observe it yes everyone if you closely observe it you will get to know madras is the place bengal is the place and now logically where it should be yes boys and girls where it should be jaise humne abhi yahan pe aisa ek bharat ka naksha bana diya hai ki aisa bharat hai theek hai to pehle humne likha yahan pe madras मद्रास में क्या बना है किसान लेबर पार्टी बंगाल में हमने क्या देखा है बंगाल में बनी है लेबर स्वराज पार्टी सो व्हाट शुड बी लॉजिकल केस वेयर शुड बी द रीजनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर्म रुद्रा से मुंबई भाई साहब मुंबई अभी का तब का बताओ ना इतिहास में मुंबई थोड़ी लिखोगे इन हिस्ट्री यू हैव टू मेंशन यस एग्जैक्टली द लॉजिकल थिंग शुड बी बॉम्बे इन द बॉम्बे द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर्म यस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज फॉर्म टेल मी वन मोर थिंग टेल मी वन मोर थिंग अदर देन बेंगाल बॉम्बे मद्रास which area of india is very active as we have mentioned the bombay presidency bengal presidency madras presidency other than that which area of india is very active during the freedom struggle
Neha said coastal region. Logically, logically, ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको हर बार जवाब आना ही चाहिए Yes, Nayan, very good, very good. Yes, of course, it is Punjab. It is Punjab, of course. How can you forget Bhagat Singh? How can you forget Lala Lajpat Rai? Yes. How can you forget Shahid Udham Singh? Are Punjab, Punjab. These are the most important provinces who played the important role. Just go and remember the organization, the Congress related organization, the regional party, they are from these particular area only. If you go through the leaders, if you go through the leaders of Indian national movement, you will get to know they are from this particular area. Maximum, maximum leader from this particular area. Why it is so? Because spread of education, English education was there in this particular area. That's why Britishers used to criticize Indians. That is disloyal Babus. Clear? Now, next thing. In 1926 in Bombay, who played an important role? S. A. Dange. He established Congress Labour Party. He established the Congress Labour Party and published the journal, namely, published the journal, namely, Nam Kya Bhai? A very simple name, so that's why I ask you. S. A. Dange in Bombay started or established the Congress Labour Party and published a journal known as Bombay Chronicle. Very good. Revolutionary. Very, very good. हाँ बताओ बताओ भाई साहब आज वैसे भी संडे है हर एक को राय अपने मन की बात करने की बताइए आज नए इतिहास ही लिख डालेंगे यस एवरीवन एंड आई एम आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन आस्क इन यूपीएससी फॉर मेनी टाइम्स as I mentioned, not once, many times UPSC asked this question, so at least you should know it. Clear? The socialist. Yes, Nilesh, yes, Ashwini, exactly. English learner. अब भाई साहब हो या मैडम हो हमें नहीं पता लेकिन जो भी हो यस द सोशलिस्ट इन 1926 इन पंजाब वन मोर पर्सन हु एस्टैब्लिश्ड कीर्ति किसान पार्टी एंड द नेम ऑफ दैट पर्सन इज सोहन सिंह जोश एंड दे पब्लिश a journal namely means you can consider that particular uh, journal is the mouthpiece of that party as the congress labor party was having their mouthpiece the socialist the same way labor sorry kirti kisan party publish one more journal and the name of that journal is Yes, Anjit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Kya naam kya hai? Chalo, logic, logically samjhao ki kya naam ho sakta hai.
Yes, everyone. What do you think? Logic. Actually, this is a factual question, but you can use the logic as well. And the name of that journal is Kappa English Learner. I really like you. I am really happy that whenever the question is related to Bombay, you can write the Bombay Chronicle. If it is related to Punjab, Punjab Chronicle. If it is related to Madras, Madras Chronicle. Yes, everyone. A very simple thing. The Kirti. Kirti Kisan Party was having their journal known as Kirti. And one more important person attached to it is Santok Singh. Sohan Singh Josh and Santok Singh, these are the two important persons related to it. Yes, yes, Nilesh, Shabash, Kya Baat, Kya Baat, Kya Baat. Clear? Yes, everyone. So, now you get it, the logic, as we have mentioned, when it formed in India, first it formed in Madras, then it formed in Bengal, then we have mentioned in Bombay and then we have mentioned in Punjab. Clear? Yes everyone, is that clear? This is the way this party is having regional platform and we have mentioned one more important thing. What? What we have mentioned? We have mentioned that the party was already formed outside India as well by MN Roy. MN Roy established it as a Tashkent and after Tashkent they shifted their headquarters from Tashkent to Berlin. So now they established themselves in a regional organization as well as they have the organization outside India but now there is a need to form all India platform. Am I right or wrong? Don't you think it's logical? Don't you think it's a logical thing that all regional parties or regional forms are there. Now there is a need to form all India platform. Clear? Yes, there is a need to form All India Platform and that's why they form All India Platform. But before that, but before that, I just want to ask a very sorry, basic question. We have mentioned many organizations like like Labour Swaraj Party, Kesan Labour Party. We have mentioned this organization that is Congress Labour Party, Congress Labour Party, Kirti Kesan Party. So my question is very simple to you. I just want to know what's the outcome of these organizations. Take an organization bana liya, lekin uska fayda bhi hona chahiye na. ठीक है ऑल इंडिया लेवल का आप बनाना चाहते हो बना दो आप कुछ भी सकते हो एम आई राइट और रॉन्ग वी शुड नो द आउटकम ऑफ दैट विदाउट नोइंग द आउटकम इट्स मीनिंगलेस टू लर्न व्हाई दे नीड टू हैव ऑल इंडिया और पैन इंडिया पॉलिटिकल प्लेटफॉर्म हम्म चार ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हमने आपको बताई है चार ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में हमने कहा कि ये क्षेत्रीय थी 
ये क्षेत्रीय जो आंदोलन थे या क्या कह सकते हैं हमसे संगठनाएं थी ठीक है लेकिन इन संगठनाओं का फायदा क्या है क्या काम किया होगा इन्होंने to man said to unite the people with the certain ideologies together okay yes go ahead go ahead go ahead nilesh said united the peasants and laborers okay aap logo ne shayad suna nahi hai maine thodi der pehle hi kaha tha कि अपने जिंदगी में कॉमन सेंस जो है वो नमक की तरह थोड़ा सा ही इस्तेमाल करना है बस उतना आपने कर लिया आपकी जिंदगी बदल जाएगी नहीं सच कह रहा हूं भाई साहब दीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेर मोस्टली फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ एक्सप्लोटेटर्स टू अवेयर देम and to unite them yes of course yes 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 unification of peasants and labor can we mention propagate communist ideology nahi ye to kaam kiya hoga na common sense jaise humne kaha hai to form a union organization to appeal the needs together at this platform ne aapko nahi lagta ki wo log communism se influenced the to sabse pehla kaam kya karenge wo logo ko communist ideology kya hai iske bare mein jankari denge jab log razi ho jayenge tabhi to wo ek sath aayenge na so isiliye hum kehte hain ki namak namak ki tarah swadansha जहां जहां जरूरत हो वहां वहां कॉमन सेंस छिड़क दी इट्स रियली इंपॉर्टेंट द फर्स्ट एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू प्रपोगेट द कम्युनिस्ट आइडियोलॉजी हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू प्रपोगेट जर्नल्स वेर देर दीज जर्नल्स प्रपोगेट द कम्युनिस्ट आइडियोलॉजी सेकेंड हाउ वे कैन द people and most mostly awaken the peasants and labor how they awaken them by telling they are exploited by them third as you have mentioned and i am really happy that you have mentioned that point that is to unite to unite them to form a part of organization clear but one of the most important thing that is formation of trade unions am i right yes everyone and one of the important contribution of these organization is formation of trade union in india clear so these are very simple aspect and these organization these regional organization created a background so created a platform for rise of all india political system yes next now as we have mentioned now we have mentioned there is a need to have all india political platform so in 1925 in 1925 there was a conference of indian communist at kanpur and you know that kanpur was a one of the important center for revolutionaries in india it is very important place along with that kanpur is very famous for one industry do you know the name of that in industry it was famous for a long i don't know it right now it is there or not 
but for a long time that particular industry was very famous in kanpur ha bhai sab koi kanpur se ho kya me tu tadak ke alawa bhi hum puch sakte hain sab yes everyone do you know any particular industry which is very famous yes yes kya baat kya baat kya baat yes exactly nilesh and neha leather industry yes leather industry is very famous in that particular area and kanpur was one of the important industrial town in india at that time so remember the importance of kanpur one it is an important center for revolutionary movement in india along with that it was an important center for trade union as well yes it is dysfunctional not just because of the environmental issues but there are also many policy issues yes policy issues are also important in that clear next this organization was there at kanpur who played an important role s v khate and satya bhatke these were the two important person who played a important role to organize the communist leaders from all over india at kanpur they are considered as organizer sv bhate and satya bhatke and one more important person as we have mentioned the name of this person shringar velu chettia shringar velu chettia he was from labor kisan party no sorry kisan labor party madras and he was the president here now in this conference shringar velu chettia presided over this conference and this conference gave birth to communist party of india a pan india communist platform c e r and you know what their symbol was very common very important for a long time and their symbol was very oh uh, you know that i'm a uh, very good painter but still i'm trying to convey this my idea yes am i right boys and girls uh, such kind of symbol is always visible on communist platform one is hammer another is sickle hammer and sickle hammer symbolize the worker hammer symbolize the worker and sickle symbolize the peasant clear and yes nilesh when you mention the sickle and wheat grass then that particular organization is related to peasant only yani usme sirf kisano ki baatein ki jayegi aur jisme hathoda bhi hai jisme thoda bhi hai aur darati bhi hai use kehte hain worker and labor party they are going to think about both now all india communist party is formed that is communist party of india form all india platform now what now they decided to have wpp at bombay in 1927 what is wpp common sense what is w p p common sense ye dekho aise chidak mein bas the leaders like ss mirajkar ghate played an important role 
and they published a journal known as Kranti. One journal was Kirti. One journal is Kranti. Kirti is of Kirti Kisan party and Kranti is of WPP. Soma, Soma only mentioned workers. What about others? Yes, exactly. Yes, Ashwini used the common sense. Very good. Workers and peasants party. Nilesh, no, workers political party. It is not the case. Arab bhai, kisano ke baare mein socho ge, ya sirf majdooru ke baare mein socho ge. किसान एकता जिंदाबाद मजदूर एकता जिंदाबाद कभी नारे सुने नहीं हो कभी सुने नहीं हो नारे ये नहीं आप भी नहीं सुने होंगे क्योंकि आपके बचपन तक ही ये खत्म हो गए थे हमारे बचपन में ये हमने नारे सुने हैं ये सारी चीजें क्योंकि उस वक्त ना मूवीज में भी ये दिखाया जाता था बिकॉज वेन आई वॉज इन वेरी Now school days at that time movies were basically of 80s and 90s early 90s and at that time thus organizations were visible in movies but as most of you are born after 1991 and India also changed the thing sab wash ho gaye ekdum capital check 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 na mazdoor dikhai denge na kuch sirf mall dikhai denge better clear so at that time it was very common so wpp actually such organization is present in india at present also but this wpp the original one established in 1927 the most important that all communist leaders were the part of it but what happened the most important problem with the communist that is they had internal differences with each other and that leads to dissolution of it clear next cooperation with congress yes communist party of india was formed and cpi started cooperation with congress but why why there is a need to cooperate with congress congress didn't ask them to help us to cooperate us and you know these communists used to call congress as bourgeois they used to call them as agents then why there is a need to have a cooperation with congress हम्म है कि नहीं मजे की बात है कि नहीं सीपीआई कोऑपरेशन विद कांग्रेस बट व्हाई दे वांट टू कोऑपरेट डू यू नो दैट यस बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स डू यू नो any guess it is not a compulsory thing but at least you can guess a very interesting thing as as i mentioned i already mentioned for many times just use your common sense congress what was the congress political party पार्टी कांग्रेस वॉज नॉट जस्ट अ पॉलिटिकल पार्टी कांग्रेस वॉज नेशनल मूवमेंट 
yes congress was a national movement and the enemy of the congress was british their aim is freedom yes freedom from exploitation communist party of india what's their aim their aim is basically saying freedom what they want they want to end the british rule because they considered british as a exploitator so instead of starting a separate organization it is better yes it is better to participate with a national movement which has already established their roots in indian soil do not act as a competitor but as act as a supporter to cooperate them and that's why they supported indian national movement they supported congress clear yes everyone is that clear to you why cooperation is there good yes 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 now you get it now you get it good so in 1925 from 1925 to 1929 cpi communist party of india cooperated with congress and basically what they want they try to influence the program of congress that means they want to radicalize the program of congress they do not want congress to adopt the policy of what kind of policy a policy of moderatism a policy of compromise they basically want to radicalize they want to radicalize they want to incline congress towards the left and for that reason they entered into that and you know what one more important aspect which basically influenced the work of communist party in india and most of the time because of that particular thing it hampered the performance of communist party in india so 1925 to 29 they were the part of congress they want to radicalize the congress by influencing them but what happened as per the direction from sixth communists this communist international is very dangerous for them yes very very dangerous because this communist idol means organization or international they guided they provided guidance to various communist organization in the world and they called cpi to broke their ties with congress ha bhai sahab aaj ke din ye padhana tha ha ye inka aise toot gaya inka naam tha sahi hai but kya ऐसो है बताना पड़ेगा ब्रेकअप बट दे ब्रोक वाई द गाइडलाइंस प्रोवाइडेड बाय सिक्स कम्युनिस्ट इंटरनेशनल एंड द सिक्स कम्युनिस्ट इंटरनेशनल कॉल्ड कांग्रेस एज अ पार्टी ऑफ बुर्जवा कॉल्ड देम एज अ सपोर्टर ऑफ ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट एंड कांग्रेस इज लाइक वॉट है मजाक चल रहा है यहाँ पे है, इतने सालों से हम यहाँ पे आपके इनके साथ लड़ रहे हैं और तुम कह रहे हो कि भाई साहब तुम दिख गए हो क्लियर समझ रहे हो एंड कम्युनिस्ट लीडर लाइक नो नो एज दे सेट वी हैव टू एक्सेप्ट बिकॉज इट इज अ पेरेंट बॉडी दे नो बेटर देन अस सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे ब्रोक अप दे टाइस विद द कांग्रेस एंड विथ दैट after that guidelines they also dissolved wpp as within a short interval of time workers and peasant party influenced the peasants and worker they organized them they were quite successful in propagating that program but after this guidelines they said that it is not logical to have the workers and peasants together they are two different ideologies so it's not going to work
नहीं नहीं लब्स हमारे हैं लेकिन भावनाएं आपकी हम बया कर रहे हैं तो आप समझ लो और खुशी तो हमें बहुत मिलती है आपको तो पता ही है यस अभी ओके ठीक है ना चलो कोई बात नहीं नाराज होने की क्या जरूरत है ठीक है ऐसे दिन आते जाते रहते हैं यस एवरी वन सो नाउ इट इज क्लियर इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन गाइडेड देम एंड दे ब्रोक अप द टाइस एंड अलोंग विद डिजोल्व द डब्ल्यू पी पी सो बेसिकली ये हिंदी में कहावत है इसे कहते हैं अपने पैरों पे कुड़ी मार Hence, when you have a strong base, people actually adopted your ideology. This supported you, and once you said that no, it is not going to work, and this was basically setback for them. Clear? Next, again, after that, British started suppressing Communist Party. As you know, that there was a rivalry between communism and capitalism, though it was not. Visible, in true sense, it was visible after Cold War, after end of Second World War. But this problem was there, as the communists were radical and they knew that they also want to have this people rebellion in India and they want to overthrow the British government in India. So that's why Britishers started policy of suppression. Is that clear to you? Yes, boys and girls, is that clear to you? Any question? Any query? Any doubt? Yes, everyone. Is there any question, any query, any doubt related to the same? No. Good. Next important thing that is factors responsible for decline of first phase. So first phase decline by many factors. The first point is Peshawar conspiracy case. 1922-24. What exactly this case was? Yes, ये पेशावर conspiracy case क्या है? क्या आप जानते हो ये case? Yes, do you know this case? What is this Peshawar conspiracy case? And why I ask you this question? Because in civil services, UPSC asks such questions. Peshawar conspiracy case. ऐसे बहुत सारे कॉन्स्पिरसी केसेस है भारत में अभी यस एज यू नो वेरी फेमस अनदर फेमस लाहौर कॉन्स्पिरसी केस यस डू यू नो नेक्स्ट कानपुर बोलशेविक केस 1924 नेक्स्ट मेरठ कॉन्स्पिरसी केस 1929 दीज केसेस शोज द ब्रिटिश एटीट्यूड टुवर्ड्स कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी एंड दिस अप्रोच देयर एटीट्यूड वाज ऑफ होस्टाइल इन नेचर बट व्हाई एग्जैक्टली इट वाज होस्टाइल इन नेचर अ सेट ऑफ फाइव केसेस व्हिच टुक प्लेस बिटवीन 22 टू 24 But what exactly it is? And ठीक है पांच है दस है कितने भी होने दो लेकिन है क्या कानपुर वाली केस क्या है मेरठ वाली केस क्या है डोंट नो और ये पता है क्यों आपको पता नहीं है क्योंकि आपने ना ढंग से किताब नहीं पढ़ी है यस मोस्ट ऑफ यू बिलीव Or having most trust or notes only. 
आपको लगता है और मैं हमेशा कहता हूँ कि एक सब स्टैंडर्ड किताब है बहुत सारे लोग उसे इस्तेमाल करते हैं और हमने पहले लेक्चर में कहा था डू नॉट यूज दैट सब स्टैंडर्ड बुक इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर सिविल सर्विस एग्जामिनेशन देन ऑलवेज रिलाय ऑन स्टैंडर्ड सोर्सेस यस ऑलवेज रिलाय ऑन स्टैंडर्ड सोर्सेस बिकॉज यू हैव टू रीड हिस्ट्री ऑफ फिल्म्स ओनली इट विल हेल्प यू इन मीन्स एज वेल as the questions in the upsc examination is not just of factual nature it is of analytical nature an analytical question can be solved only and only through standard books because standard books gives you idea sub standard books gives you facts so now choice is yours the peshawar conspiracy case it is basically just look at the year i know neha there are many names many places many things then how can we remember and that's why i'm here hai na ha ye to hamara kaam hai ki jo mushkil cheez hai na usko aasan karke batana yahi hamara kaam hai इसके पैसे मिलते हैं क्लियर एज आई ऑलवेज बिलीव ऑन वन थिंग यूज लॉजिक पेशावर वेर इट इज लोकेटेड यस आप लोगों से सवाल पूछा है बहुत आसान सवाल पेशावर कहां पे है हाँ पे आता है पेशा हाउ मच टाइम यू रिक्वायर टू रिप्लाई बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स हाउ मच टाइम वाह वाह क्या बात क्या बात क्या बात क्या जवाब दिया आप लोगों ने ऐसा दिल खुश कर दिया आपने क्या बात मेरे को पता ही नहीं था पंजाब में करके है पाकिस्तान में पता ही नहीं था आपने नया नॉलेज दे दिया आपने पेशावर ऑफ कोर्स इट इज इन पाकिस्तान बट वेयर इट इज इन पाकिस्तान इट इज इन नॉर्थ वेस्ट as in it it was a india's northwest frontier province and this northwest frontier province shares the border with afghanistan yes afghanistan at that time afghanistan was under king's rule that means no british power was there it was an independent state एंड अफगानिस्तान से ही सटा हुआ एरिया कौन सा था यूएसएसआर क्लियर अफगानिस्तान से ही सटा हुआ क्या है यूएसएसआर एंड यू नो व्हाट इन आईआर व्हेन आई टॉट यू आईआर एट दैट टाइम वी हैड डिस्कस अबाउट इट हाउ अफगानिस्तान इज इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम इंडियन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बिकॉज इट इज अट वे for central asia wait 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 so as just look at the year 1922 we have mentioned 1920 communist party of india established at tashkent yes do you think so tashkent is located near in this particular area and these people are highly influenced by it and they want to overthrow british government so they try to enter into india via peshawar so this peshawar conspiracy case was there these bolsheviks want to enter into 
India via Afghanistan and these Bolshevik revolutionary that is Indians they were captured and tried and this creates impression of communist or British that communists are hatching the conspiracy in USSR and they want to end the British rule in India and that's why Britishers were having prejudice towards the Communist Party of India. So Peshawar conspiracy case was there that Bolshevik revolutionary tried to enter into India via Afghanistan and Britishers captured them. Clear? And they tried. That is one thing. Second important thing and you know harsh punishment was there. The harsh punishment was given to them. Next, Kanpur Bolshevik case. This Kanpur Bolshevik case, the leaders associated or people associated with it, S. E. Dange, then Nalini Gupta, his S. A. Dange, Nalini Gupta. Uh, I don't remember one more. There are two, three people more in that. So I remember the name of these two. They tried for it. And it is the same thing that you are the part of this Bolshevik case, Bolshevik organization, and you want to try to overthrow the British government. Clear? So S. A. Dange, Nalini Gupta, uh, one more person, I don't remember the name that. Sorry for that. Clear? It is there in 1924. No, 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 no. Usha Mehta, it is not related to that. Don't worry. Next, Merit Conspiracy Case. This Merit Conspiracy Case is related to Trade Union. Yes, Neha. Shaukat Usmani. Yes, exactly. I was remembering his name only. Shaukat Usmani. Shaukat Usmani is related to Kanpur Bolshevik Case. And you know what? If you observe this communist movement, you will get to know that there were many Muslim nationalists participated in communist movement as well. So this shows that this shows that if communists were strong enough at that time, there were very little scope for the rise of fundamentalist power in India. Because you know what? Communists are atheist. Communists are atheist. In general, all communists are atheist in nature. So, it doesn't matter from which religion you are belonging. Hindu, Muslim, Christian or anything. Clear? So, this merit conspiracy case was of trade union. And now, what Rudra was mentioning for a long time. What Rudra was mentioning? Phillips Brack. Case. Yes, so there were two British trade unionists also arrested. And this case, or these people, got support from Indian National Congress. Even Gandhiji made these prisoners. Clear? It was a false charges levied on. Them. So these are the three cases and basically this Kanpur merit conspiracy case it is related to trade union and Britishers want to weaken them. Britishers want to weaken the strength of trade union movement that's why such cases levied on them and you know what these are the general practice followed by the government and basically the colonial government to stop the spread of new ideas. Clear? So these are the three important cases which weaken the communist movement. These are from British side. Next, breaking up with the Congress and they lost their national support. Next, dissolution of WPP as they said that it is not logical to have a two section party. So problem was with them. Next, British suppression was there and the Next important point that is the factors responsible for decline of first phase that is division among themselves. Different ideologies they follow 
divergent views and along with that the most important thing they stick to guidelines provided by international organizations clear yes is that clear boys and girls is that clear to you next thing phase 2 the phase 2 of communist movement was there in 1935 to 1940 and this phase is basically the phase of underground movement this phase is of underground movement now the direction is given by seventh communist international the seventh communist international provided the guidelines that is decision to cooperate with national organization or national movements why it is so because this seventh communist organization said that fascism is a real threat to human kind at present so it's better to cooperate with anti colonial moments clear why they provided because as you know fascism and nazism these are the two mentalities which was uh, or which were mad in nature a destructive in nature and the most interesting part that these followed the socialist ideology just in name sake but in real sense they were against socialism for further details to know what exactly it is go and watch my videos it is available on youtube channel dekho publicity bhi kar liye yes everyone it is not just a part of publicity i just want to tell you if you don't know how these organization were come socialist and how they acted against it so we had the session on rise of communism rise sorry rise of fascism rise of nazism in germany and italy clear so now the threat of fascism was there and fascism was real threat for communist ideology as well and it was the same time where britishers and frenchmen pampered germany and that policy is known as policy of appeasement so that because of that fear that attacking of hitler or hitler is going to attack russia that's why they said that no the real enemy right now is fascism and we have to fight against it and because on that guideline on that they started cooperating with congress again patches hashtag patches but but british attitude towards communist party of india was hostile in nature and that's why in 1934 there was a ban over communist party of india so in underground movement pc joshi yes it is one of the important leader he reorganized the communist party of india in 1935 and that bradley thesis became the basis for support to congress and what kind of support was there actually the members of communist party of india became the members of indian national congress they worked under indian national congress and they tried to influence the congress policies along with that they tried to convince the people to attract uh, try to convince them towards the policy of communism clear so they want to attract them in basically so they work for indian freedom struggle through 
Indian National Congress in second phase. Yes, everyone, is that clear to you? The second phase, how it started, 1935, reorganization by P. C. Joshi, the Bradley, the Bradley phases became the basis for their cooperation, and the guidelines was provided by Seventh Communist International. Next thing, communism or communist in 1940s. A most important thing is the ban lifted in 1942. Why? What happened? नहीं ऐसे कैसे भाई मन परिवर्तन हो गया इनका हृदय परिवर्तन हो गया ऐसे कैसे बदल गए अब तक ये कह रहे थे कि भाई साहब आप तो हमारे दुश्मन हो अब ये कह रहे बड़े तार मोम बुझा रहे इनके तो है तो नहीं नहीं तुम पे नहीं तुम पे जो हमने बंदी डाली है अब हम उसे आजाद करते हाउ सडनली दिस थिंग चेंज Yes, everyone. What do you think? How it is going to change? Yes, of course. In World War Two, they form a joint front. In World War II, Russia was fighting against fascism. Britain was fighting against fascism. And that's why Britishers had a moderate approach towards them. And that's why they lifted their ban. And the most important thing, what British want? British want support from all sections of the society, Indian society, because you know it is the same period. Where Britain was suffering from defeat after defeat, Britain was suffering from defeat after defeat. Britain lost Indonesia. They are the uh, sorry. Britain lost Singapore as well. So now they were in back foot. They need the support of India, and that's why Scripps mission was sent in India. It is the same way. And why it is so? Because they want to regain the confidence, regain the support of Indians. That's why they lifted the ban. Now, what happened after the ban is lifted? CPI again broke up their ties with Congress. बहुत बुरा हुआ इनके साथ. And फिर से, फिर से धोखा दे दिया. Again, they broke up their ties over the Quit India movement. Why? Why they broke up ties? Means what happened? Yes, do you have any idea? I mentioned the fact that CPI broke the ties with Indian National Congress over the issue of Quit India movement. But why? हम्म बताइए क्यों ऐसा क्या हुआ है यस बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स प्लीज लेट मी नो व्हाई व्हाई एग्जैक्टली डोंट यू थिंक सो देयर शुड बी सम रीजन विदाउट रीजन इफ यू आर ब्रेकिंग अप बात तो नहीं बनती कुछ तो मजबूरी आ रही होगी वरना कोई ऐसे ही बेवफा नहीं है वॉट रुद्रा मल्टीनेशनल प्लान कुछ भी है भाई साहब
I am really shocked and surprised that you don't know this thing. Oh ho ho ho. You don't know this thing. I am really surprised and shocked. Quit India movement. This Quit India movement was against British government. The year is 1942. World War II is on peak. World War II is on peak and Congress decided to wage a movement against British government. So CPI Consider this is the time to fight against fascism and quit India movement is weaken the British government. So the most important priority in front of us to support British why because they are fighting against fascism and quit india movement is going to weaken the britishers and weakening of britishers is implied to making fascism strong clear yes everyone Ab Kya thi unki? and of course it was a guideline given by communist international that we want to make a united front against fascism clear so they broke up the ties over that particular issue and after that there was a rift between congress and communist party of india what happened at the time of freedom, they criticized. Spelling galat hai. They criticized Congress and called them called freedom as a sham one. They called it as a farce, and they called Congress as a hungry for power, and they called and they called Independence Day as a day of national betrayal clear yes why it is so because of partition and this partition is on useless basis that is known as each clear and you know they are never supporting the idea of religious thing partition if it is for the convenience of administration it was okay but this partition is on the basis of religion and it is not acceptable by them that's why they called it as a national betrayal and they criticized congress that you accepted the partition that means you betrayal us clear yes everyone is that clear to you and you know what they also played an important role yes they also played an important role in telangana mm -hmm. Kya ya? telangana ka spelling bhi nahi dikh hmm they also played an important role in telangana and andhra pradesh do you know this fact in 1946 in 1946 there was a huge movement in telangana and this movement was against this movement was against the exploitation by by exploitation by in telangana of course who was there Nizam. So the exploitation by the Nizami's army, and that's why they had a strong agitation there. 
along with that they decided to have a national level revolt they decided to have a strike but they failed to do so yes everyone and after independence after independence whether they fight election after independence communist party was there yes of course it is there whether they fought post election yes everyone what about them after independence communist party was there yes of course there whether communist party was there in constituent assembly interesting question i ask you whether they fought the first general election of india and before that one more question is there whether communist party was the part of constituent assembly of india which is there to draft constitution for independent nation state that is india hmm bataiye Soma said no. Okay. Hmm. अरे क्या बात है? है मैडम आप भी ऐसे हो? I'm really surprised. आप कहोगे सर बार बार सरप्राइज होते हो हाँ यार आप बार बार सरप्राइज करते हो ना हैं आपके जो नॉलेज है आपका जो ज्ञान है उस ज्ञान से हमारी आखे चका चौंध हो जाती है हमें ऐसा लगता है क्या बात कर रहे यार इतना भी नहीं पता इनको अश्विन जी सेट सीपीआई वाज़ द फर्स्ट पार्टी ऑफ अपोजिशन इन इंडिया एंड दे फॉर द इलेक्शन रियली व्हाट अबाउट यू Yes, they fought election, and of course they became the opposition party because they had the largest number of seat. Yes, everyone, they had the largest number of seat, and that's why the leader of opposition formed their side. Clear? Then after some changes happened, and they lost that position. Clear? So, second question: whether they were the part of constituent assembly ye sabse mahatvapurna sawal hai sabse yani pehla sawal to theek hai aap mein se bahut sare logo ko pata bhi hoga lekin dusra sawal bahut hi zyada mahatvapurna hai second question whether they were the part of constituent assembly pk said they were okay pk please tell me the name of any person who were the part of constituent assembly tell me name of any communist person who was the part of communist the part of constituent assembly 
एटलीस्ट इतने बड़े बड़े नाम है उसमें से एक या दो तो नाम हमें पता ही होने चाहिए As I'm the person who taught you modern India, yes. When we had discussed about cabinet mission, and I told you that cabinet mission had interaction with all the political parties in India, and at that time, do you remember? I have mentioned. the name of communist party of india as i have mentioned the name of sikh representative i have mentioned the name of muslim representative so have i mentioned the communist party of india there batai क्या बात कर रहे हो यार कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी में राजेंद्र प्रसाद कब गए थे कांग्रेस वाले नाराज नहीं हो जाएंगे कुछ भी हाँ भाई सब कुछ भी बताओ बताओगे राजेंद्र प्रसाद वॉज थ्रू आउट हिज लाइफ मेंबर ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस ही वॉज नेवर एवर मेंबर ऑफ कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी ऑफ इंडिया अरे यार कॉमन सेंस आप इस्तेमाल करो ना यदि वो आजादी जो है फ्रीडम दे कंसिडर इट एज एम वन अगर ये झूठ है बकवास है वो कह रहा है कि जो आपका जो दिन है पंद्रह अगस्त उस दिन इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज अ डे ऑफ नेशनल बिट्रेल so can you consider they participated in the constituent assembly if you are going to take part in constituent assembly that means you are going to accept one thing that is independence you are going to accept the partition ye baat sahi hai ki nahi बताइए जो हमने आपसे पूछा है कि यदि वो लोग आजादी के दिन को वो कह रहे हैं कि आपने हमें धोखा दिया है वो आजादी में कांग्रेस को क्रिटिसाइज कर रहे हैं और जो आजादी मिली है वो कह रहे हैं ये सच में आजादी नहीं है तो क्या आपको लगता है कि ये लोग संविधान सभा में होंगे मैंने सिर्फ सवाल पूछा मैंने ये नहीं बताया कि वो थे या नहीं थे मैंने ये नहीं कहा है वो थे या नहीं थे ये आपकी जिम्मेदारी है और मुझे पूरी तरह से पता है कि आप लोग पढ़ के मुझे इसका जवाब दो यस मुझे भरोसा है कि वैसे भी कोई काम नहीं है काम एक ही है हमें सिर्फ पढ़ना और पढ़ना है थोड़ा ठीक से पढ़ लेंगे यस एम आर राइट बॉयज एंड गर्ल्स गुड नेक्स्ट थिंग यस इट वॉज देयर नेक्स्ट थिंग in the second general election in the second general election both for lok sabha and vidhan sabha they participated and yes this is a very star mark thing they form government yes they established the government at kerala and it is the first world's first democratically elected government yes everyone this is a very important fact for you that in the second general election they fought for lok sabha and vidhan sabha and they establish 
गवर्नमेंट इन केरला एंड इट इज द वर्ल्ड दुनिया में पूरी दुनिया के इतिहास में पहला पहला कम्युनिस्ट चुन के आया हुई सरकार थी मीन्स चुनावी सरकार थी इट इज द फर्स्ट गवर्नमेंट इन दर्ल्ड दैट यू नो व्हाट व्हाट हैपेंड ड्यू टू सम पॉलिटिकल डिफरेंसेस एंड ऑल नेहरू हेमसेल्फ uses the article 356 and impose presidential rule why how when who did that that's your part but i just want to tell you that cpi and finally after independence in 1964 this communist party divided into two fragment that is communist party of india and communist party of india marx जिसे आज की भाषा में कहते हैं भारतीय कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी और दूसरे को कहा जाता है मार्क्सवादी कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी क्लियर यस एवरीवन इन 1964 द डिवीजन वाज देयर एंड टू पार्टीज फॉर्म यस एवरीवन आई होप वट आई एक्सप्लेन टू यू इज दैट क्लियर टू यू any question any query related to the communist movement in india rise of left in india yes kisi ko koi sawal hai koi pareshani hai koi dikkat hai yes everyone is there any question any query any doubt no no doubt at all clear okay so that's all for today's lecture thank you very much for your valuable time yes please follow me on telegram channel so that you can contact with me you can you will get to know the lecture timings and all addresses at the rate unacademy underscore harsh week 10 one more important thing please subscribe to unacademy please subscribe to an academy because your subscription is important for us without your support it's not possible for us to present video so please subscribe yes like follow share it just like karna hota bhai sahab itni kaun si dikkat hai just like follow share and if and only if if you like the way of teaching then please dedicate the hats which is available with you please follow me on an academy app yes everyone एंड यस क्या बात क्या बात है आप लोगों ने कह दिया कि हाँ भाई वैलेंटाइन डे है आप लोगों को भी बधाई खुशी हो लोगों की खुशियां देख के जो लोग खुश होते हैं उन्हें ही कहते हैं सुखी आत्मा तो आप उनमें से हो तो आपको भी बधाई हो यस एव यून दैट सॉल्व फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वेल्यूबल टाइम हैव अ गुड डे ग्रेट डे टेक केयर स्टे सेफ